speed with which John Cortez turns his man from one side to the other of a side headlock or a, a, a chancery as this is. suspicious but didn't spot it yes he's very suspicious about 12 seconds to go Grace beefing about that for some reason but he was the one that did the hair pull yes not sure enough to give up a public warning unfortunately and for the third or fourth time in that round Jim Brakes tried again to get out of trouble with that hair pull at the back of the neck. And he just about made it. The referee, highly suspicious. And Briggs doesn't like the private warning he got. Anyway, round three coming up. And four rounds to go. Jim Briggs in the multicolored striped trunks versus John Cortez of London. Brakes, of course, from Bradford. No score, four rounds to go. Referee Max Ward. Nose breaks of old, of course, and is watching very closely the play. He's a bit clever the way he turns his man so that he can't see the inside breaks. Yes, that's a position you're going to be in. Oh yes, nice pick up the top there. Cortez does not like these tricks at all. And he shows it in the only way he knows how. <laughs> well, Max Ford happy about the heel of the hand there. Now it's Briggs keeping that straight arm at his feet, leaving his hands free to go for the other arm, if necessary. But the leg's doing all the work there for Briggs now. He's got a double arm in there with his legs. Oops, yikes, that went all the way, that one. I'm sure you heard that one at home. That was uh, John Cortez left wrist in trouble, and Briggs will go for that left arm now, special the wrist, and his special coming up, there it is. And he's got it weakened, that's where he'll go for the submission hold. And he can he lift, if he lifts it, Cortez is in trouble. Somehow Cortez is taking it. Oh, straight in the stump. And another one in the face. And again, Max Ward not sure. But a legal forearm and Cortez operates it. Nice drop kick follow up by Cortez. Beauty. Couple of minutes left in this third round. No sign of any score except that one submission hold from Briggs, which Cortez didn't get. That's that uh, right wrist of Briggs right across the throat there. Releases it to go for the left arm lever. There's only one champion, Cortez, and you're not it, lad. 
There is the way Cortez turning, trying to turn into the hold. Trying to force the backhammer breaks now. Gets it. But leaves his head a bit near. Now then, the backhammer is still on, but Cortez has got the side head. Oops! Cortez neatly over the top. Beautifully done. And over the top of the reverse double leg Nelson if he can get in there. Very near it indeed. And the folding press, but Joy oh, lost his balance at the last second. He was very near the ropes anyway. But such a neat move. One minute to go. And so unlucky. Side headlock again breaks. Oh. Oh. always tries to bring the feet up if he can to get the Come on, come on, you don't let your Come on, you don't He's got the left foot now. That's got enough balance. He's got to have the break now. Uh, but he's still got a, a backhander in the face as he as he released. Oh yes, getting away with murder as usual breaks right on the bell. And Cortez doesn't even bother to complain to the referee. Breaks quite happy at getting away with it, but he's not happy at that um, submission hold of his didn't come off. He very very near it. He got his man's left arm weakened. So thoroughly he thought that it was worth trying the break, the uh, great special submission, but John Cortez on the right there would not give. Seconds away, round four. Halfway through the bout, three rounds to go, and John Cortez in the black leotard against Jim Brakes of Bradford. Cortez, of course, from Dulwich, London, and the favourite in this bout here in this packed hall at the Civic Centre, Aylesbury, the Reg Maxwell Hall. Beautifully set out there for the ring in the middle of the two of seats all around it. Very intimate hole. And they're all for Cortez after the treatment he's been getting to get the first four here. Well, all this stuff going with his back to the referee, of course. So that makes Waters no chance of being absolutely certain whether it was a punch or not. There's the submission again, the submission in the left from it. Yes, and it's the submission this time, and uh, Doug Porter's had to give, and that left arm is in trouble. In just 48 seconds of round four, the first submission to Jim Brakes. Ladies and gentlemen, in round four with the Jim Brakes special, the first submission goes to Jim Brakes. Well... Let's see how left arm stands up to the next two rounds. It's got to go a long way yet. And he is forced to submit from that great special then after a lot of weakness. Oh, this is getting a little too much. And a public warning to Brakes for that in about time. Time is up now, it's the start for round five, and John Ford is of course not a bit ready with that left arm, he's still lying on it, and Briggs of course has got a great chance now to go for the second and winning submission, he only wants one more score now. Yes, I don't like the look of this at all from Cortez's point of view. And stands on the left arm as he went down, but he was spotted that time and told to release. Oh, Cortez in trouble with that left arm now. Brakes knows it. He'll go straight for that submission hold again. And if he lifts him, I'm afraid that's all over. If he lifts him, it will be all so Cortez will never take it the second time, surely will he? He's trying to get the weight on his foot. Oh, nicely. Got that hip. Right on his hip to the folding press. And it could be it. Equalizer. Yeah, that took him suddenly. That was incredible. In just 55 seconds of round five, 